Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to increase FPS, or at least how I did. Uh, I'm not. There's no like shitty EXE file you have to download to increase your FPS. And let's be honest, most of the time, those are viruses. So just don't trust those all the time. Um, so yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, my config got reset in CS:GO for some reason. I have no idea why. I think it's because uh, I have a HyperX keyboard, so I have the HyperX software. And I game linked it with one of my RGB profiles, and I think that reset my config, so I had to reset it again, which was annoying. But while I was in my config resetting everything, um, before I reset my config, I like all four FPS. I had like 200 FPS on Nuke. Uh, I don't know how, but I did. But I got a, a huge FPS boost from going into manage through these settings, going to global settings. These are my settings for global settings if you want them. Um, I would say the most important ones that you need to know, OpenGL rendering GPU is your graphics card. You're going to like, you're not going to select auto select. You're going to have to select your graphics card. It's a lot better. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance. Uh, preferred refresh rate. If you have a high rate, uh, high refresh rate monitor, you'll probably want highest available. Um, high performance for texture filtering quality. And, uh, yeah, those are really the important ones. Maybe vertical sync if you really want your gameplay to be smooth. But, again, this is about FPS and not about fucking smoothness. <laughs> and my game is already smooth anyways, but, again, your might, yours might not be. It depends on your um, your monitor and your computer. Um, but, yeah, here I am in program settings. If you didn't know, you could just go to program settings and choose any of these which is very helpful and you could, and, and these are for a specific program so anyways let's get into the meat and potatoes i don't know what the fuck i said that but <laughs> threaded optimization on that's what i did that's all i did and now on like dust 2 i used to get like 400 even my on my old config i used to get like 400 the uh, like low 300s at its worst now i get like high 800 at its best and low 400 at, at its worst so it's a pretty pretty decent increase and yes i know it's a huge fucking like fucking roller coaster of fps but i don't know man i think that's just my pc it just kind of it just kind of fucking fluctuates in fps but a lot of pcs do that um so yeah but that's just what i did um yeah i just put the uh Threaded optimization, optimization, I can't speak, to on. It's normally on auto, but I just, you know, changed it to on. I don't know what turning it off will do. Uh, probably not any good things, so don't really do that. Uh, you could test it out. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but, I mean, just turn it on. It, it helped my FPS a lot. Again, it won't help everyone because a lot of people have crappy computers i i have an okay system with an rtx 3060 ti it's all right it's not like fucking top tier rtx 3090 but it's a it's a pretty good system it can play a bunch of games fairly well um so yeah that's really it this is just kind of a tutorial in quotation marks i mean it's changing one setting but again here are all my settings for global uh you can like pause the video if you really need all these but i don't think you really need to copy all this Oh wait, I, I, yeah, I scrolled up on accident and I chose fucking uh, auto select on accident. Okay, um, and that's it. No, I, I don't care about changes. Did it say my change? Hold on. I know I'm being very tedious right now, but I'm just ch double checking if uh, okay, it did. Yeah, it did. All right. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, not a whole lot else. It's just turn on that one setting and copy all that shit in my program settings if you really want to but uh yeah that's it i am when i'm, when I'm in game if you're wondering i don't know i don't see any artifacting going on it's m very smooth most of the time uh again it might vary because your monitor and your fresh rate and your <laughs> your gpu but for me at least i get high fps i get dips obviously i mean that's every pc every pc gets dips in fps but uh yeah i don't get like I don't, it doesn't like stutter like my old PC used to, um, so yeah, and another better way is to just get a new PC, I know it's kind of common sense, oh, if uh, I want better performance, get a better, uh, 
fucking computer. But uh, you really do need a better one because my old one had a GTX 1650 and a pretty bad CPU. So uh, it wasn't great. <laughs> it wasn't very great. It My game started all the time and shit like that. Um, and also it didn't help that I had a 144 hertz monitor and now I have a 240 hertz monitor and a way better computer. So uh, yeah. That's just how I got increased FPS. Again, it's not amazing. It's not like 800 FPS all the time, but I have a pretty good uh, CPU, and uh, it mostly just stays on that FPS. It mostly just stays between 400 and, like, 500. That's the average I get, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, that's really it, and I'll see you guys later.